What's going on guys, Kimchi Cowboy. Hope you guys can see this. If it's not in frame, I guess I'll be redoing it. Anyways, kind of like a different style video, more low key, not at the range. Just put this together and I wanted to show you guys before I put, I guess my initial first rounds. I've shot a couple rounds through this with iron sights, but don't really consider that um, getting to know this handgun. Anyways, first and foremost, hope you guys enjoy that intro. This here, is the Beretta M92 XI SAO, which stands for Single Action Only Tactical Version. As you can see, it's no longer stock, but we will make sure it is clear. There you go. For all you gun junkies, safety nuts out there, it is clear. Anyways, we'll start from the front. This here, something hasn't been on the market very long. It is the Silencer Co. Spectre 9. Dedicated 9mm, also 300 blackout, titanium everything, so super lightweight. I was actually looking at this or the this or the Omega 9, I believe, but ended up getting this. The guy kind of talked me into it, and seeing the size and weight difference really was the deciding factor. So pretty interested to see how this is. We'll be running 124, 115, and then also some defense ammo. It will be interesting. I want to get some Hush 147 rounds. Um, Supposedly those will get rid of the snap. Like all my other lights, we have the Surefire X300 Ultra, not the turbo version. And then up top, we have a D-Law plate. I did not want the Beretta plate as that is massive. I uh, wanted something a little more slimline. And instead of getting the Langdon tactical cut, where basically your slide is cut and you can never go back to stock form, I went with the D-Law, which is one of the more thinner optic plates out there. And then on top, I wanted to go with kind of like a mailbox style. So it's either the Acro or the Steiner MPS. And I shot my buddy Isaac's Acro. Really, really like that. Um, but I wanted to give something else a shot. So I went with the Steiner MPS. And overall, I can say, um, just, just from looking through it, if I can get this on camera, just from looking through it, has been pretty nice. Come on. I doubt it will focus on the dot, but anyways, super excited to test this out. Looks pretty good. Micro pistol sight, that's what it, there's the deal out plate. Give you guys a better look at the right or the pistol. Surefire X300. Silencer. So threaded on, has the piston inside of it. And actually this is one of two silencers I picked up. So if you didn't see in the pit rifle video, I picked up a CGS SCI or Psi 6 suppressor as well as this. So excited to have two suppressors now in the family. And yeah, that's the pistol itself. Look forward to seeing it more on the channel. Um, We'll definitely be doing like a first impressions. We'll be putting a couple hundred rounds, possibly 500 to a thousand through it. My next range take, get this sighted in and then test it out. 115, 124, 147 grains. Um, I shot maybe 200 rounds through it. So already trigger, super long take up. You guys can possibly see. I got my big lens on here, so might be a little hard to get it in focus. A lot of creep, initial creep. Here's the break. Reset, break. So, has quite a bit of travel, but single action, that's nice. Um, grip is pretty narrow, which I actually kind of like. Want to change out the grip texture. Um, Bobby Dynamite, I believe he has something else on here. Some people get wood style texture, not about the wood life, except for the wife. Um, definitely want to get a magwell. This magwell is super thin, hard to get reloads in there. And then I keep going back and forth watching Bobby's videos and watching other people's videos of getting this thing all black. Not super sure about the silver and black, but we'll see if I keep shooting it. Um, and then also something new is suppressor height sights. Haven't shot those with a dot, so co-witnessing is not my thing. I prefer just 
the optic itself with nothing else showing. So that'll be something new to get used to is the suppressor height sights. But yeah, just a little more chill laid back talk with the pistol itself. Look forward to seeing it, like I said, on the channel more. And yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Enjoy your Mother's Day. See you guys in the next one.